a lateral, which in my opinion, I thought I was watching this Schwarzenegger movie called Collateral Damage, but then I was corrected. It's Collateral, starring Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, uh, it's first it's pronounced uh, Culatero. <laughs> you can barely speak Spanish. Now you're going to ruin the English. Yeah, He's making up his own words. <laughs> what is it that a Culatero does? <laughs> well, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> you got to pay a little extra fat. <laughs> uh, Disgusting. Collateral. It's a uh, 2004, a Michael Mann movie with Tom Cruise. One of the few movies where Tom Cruise plays a villain. Yeah. Right, like an actual villain. I mean, yeah, I know he's like, it's, almost like, like it's also like, almost like Doom. I think it's why it kind of stands out because he's always so you know playing the good guy, squeaky clean. Mm-hmm. But this one was like his return to like uh a more action y role. It, it felt all he does is action, yeah. It's now, all he does. now, no, it's, that's why well, he'd been doing it for a while since Mission Impossible. Did he do like interview with Vampire like not long before this? No, people, interview with the vampire was in the nineties. Interview with the vampire was in the nineties. Uh, I mean, he didn't yeah. even know he was in that movie, but still, it's not the point. Uh, no, but but uh, yeah, one of the few movies where he's playing an actual villain, but he's good. He's like, you watch the movie because of how good Tom Cruise is. This this movie, I I think I hadn't seen it complete in a very very long time. Uh. And I sat down to watch it last night, and I'm like, I was I was thoroughly enjo- thoroughly enjoying the movie, especially the fact that it looks so real, like it's it's digital, it's a digital transfer. It looks mm-hmm. like somebody's filming it with an old digital video recorder, like a camera. There's a video camera. Um, it's very reminiscent of all the Michael Mann movies that he did at that time, props, right? All of them. Props to Michael Mann. It's a really well done movie. I think. It's on par with like as as good as Heat is. Heat is a great Michael Mann movie. Oh, that's 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 high praise. I, I think this is that good. I I from the moment you get the connection between Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx, mm. it's it you could you could see that like Tom Cruise plays the type of at the very very beginning very likable towards uh towards Jamie Foxx, and then you could see his descent into becoming an actual villain just. Random and he's still sensible about things. He's like, dude, we're just gonna get out of it. You're gonna finish this, you're gonna go off. And there's points of it where he's like, I think I, I where it sounds like he, if, if it does go through, he might he might let him go. You get you get cameos from other people too. You get um Word up. Peter Peter Berg, right? You get Peter Berg, you get uh, one of the cops, Mark, yeah. Mark Ruffalo, uh the, the cop ch- looking for the, the killer, Jason Statham. Hey, gives in the the suitcase. You get Jason Statham at the beginning. Uh, I mean, this I think this movie would have. So, after I watched the movie, I, I kind of went to a, a dive of like I want to know how this movie was made, like like all about the movie because it's a really good movie. You you have this hitman that is hired, um, and it's a simple premise. Like, what what would you do if you were a taxi driver and? You were hired and not knowing you were taking this guy to to um, assassinate um, people. Well, he originally wasn't, he wasn't supposed to know that he was killing people. Well, yeah, but that's that's the whole point. Like, imagine imagine you're a taxi driver and you're being taken around. Like, you're you're taking somebody around town, never knowing that he's out there like assassinating people. Right? That's and that's yeah, a in my opinion. I think that's a, that's a really good premise. Yeah, it's a yeah. really good premise. I mean, it's a really good I've, premise for a movie. I've done it. Yeah. Better than uh, sitting in front of a window being a vampire. Um, but I digress. I digress. Ozzy. Hey, hey, you know Not what? Not being what? interviewed. That, that is uh-huh. actually like killing me now. Every time yeah. I go in the sun, I get more ashy. It's crazy. Uh, but it's but seriously, it's it's this this it's a simple it's a simple it's a simple story, but it's it takes you all through L.A. And again, I I did all this research after, like, just started researching things about this movie because I wanted to know more. Like, when was it originally created? When, like, who was going to be playing these guys? And because originally it wasn't going to be Tom Cruise. It was going to be, um, it was going to be Russell Crowe. It was going to be Russell Crowe being, because Russell Crowe had just finished making that movie, The Insider, with Michael Mann. So originally it was going to be Russell Crowe. And I think they were going to get Adam Sandler. To be the, 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 the it would have been wow. the, but, but it, it, the, this is this was one of those movies where unfortunately because of scheduling 
it it they ended up getting the better cast. You get Tom Cruise because you mean fortunately. Fortunately, well, no, yeah, fortunately you get a better cast, right? Because of what it looked like though. Well, yeah, because you 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 got Russell Crowe, but because Russell Crowe was filming another, I forgot what movie he was filming, or it, it scheduled it on a line, he couldn't do it, so he had to drop out. Then because of Spanglish, Adam Sandler couldn't do the movie. They got Jamie Foxx. They were trying to get Robert De Niro to play the cab the cab driver. No. Right? They were trying to play get him to play the cab driver. They were gonna get Johnny That's Depp at one point. They were gonna get Johnny Depp too to play uh Vincent. Right. There's uh, there's so like so many people. Mm. This, this movie I, took 17 years that. to make, like 17 I, years I, to I, actually get off the ground. I can see Depp when as a nah. I can see it. Like you know, you close your eyes and think about it. And then they were gonna I do a weird it. one. I even read, younger, not weird, you know, like Donnie Darko. I even read uh I even uh Donnie Brasco, you mean I mean Brasco, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, Jake would have been dope too, but he's too. Well, no, he was, it was too young at that point. But uh, I, I even read that it was going to be Edward Norton, and Edward Norton was going to play both parts. Oh, that would have been perfect. That would have been weird. Yeah, uh, like but Fight I, Club. I, yeah, doesn't he play two guys in that movie? No, I mean he <laughs> technically plays one. Well, two guys are actually one guy, but you know the other guy's played by another guy who's not him. First but, base. <laughs> Uh, but I, but I think this is. I think they lucked out with the cast that they got. I think it, it's, it, it's a, it's a small cast, but it's everyone. Like yeah. the movie really is carried by Jamie Fox and um, Tom Cruise. It's just oh, yeah. them, and pretty the much city, the city itself and the way the movie was filmed is kind of mm-hmm. what adds to it because there is. It's like uh, another character. Yeah, there is. You you feel the tenseness at and a certain of, point. And the, and the place and it just goes, keeps exist. And it just keeps rising. The tension just keeps rising and mm-hmm. rising. Especially, yeah. especially when they go to the to Koreatown to that club, and you see Tom Cruise taking all these dudes out, in, like in front of everyone, and he has a gun out, and no one's running until until one of the security guards shoots. It's Koreatown. I was like, I bro, love it. I love it. I was like, mm-hmm. I was like but I, that's the, where I grew up. But it, it goes it goes to show, like the movie goes from where it goes it, to Cape Town. Jamie mm-hmm. Foxx's Max is very a very a meek, a meek, quiet guy, and through the crash course of the few hours that this movie takes place in, yeah, he ends up getting you know not only getting the courage to to fight back eventually towards the end and become the hero because at a certain point the cops think that he's he's Max and they don't want the effect the the feds don't want to um, at all acknowledge that hey he might not be Max they're like he said his name was Max. And he's Max. He probably killed the other. Uh, probably killed the other. The other driver. And he's he's playing to. He's he's pretending well, to be the, this, the, this the, also, the this, Vincent. This Max this movie seems to be in the in the in the uh, the rookie universe because you know the chief in the you know, the show the rookie. Oh, the rookie. Yeah, yeah. He, he plays a cop, pulls like, him over. It cut like five minutes. In like five minutes, how is that the rookie universe? Hey, 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 we're all connected. We're all connected. Shut up. We're all connected in circle life. That's, that's yeah. Well, shut up. But no, what they <laughs> what they did what they did say though is that um, this was connected to the transporter because Jason Statham is technically playing um, Frank Martin from the transporter. But I don't buy that either. Uh, I I think this is the, where if I remember correctly, heat a lot of heat took place. Like all, a lot of the action scenes took place during the day, right? Yeah, yeah they filmed they filmed during that busy busy times too. Right. Right in downtown. This one, Mm-hmm. This one took place at night. This was the opposite, but it had it had just as much, but it had more one on one gun battles versus Heat had that whole giant you know, shootout in the, in the, shootout of, like, in the flower and in the yeah. in the middle of downtown, right? But this one was just as good with the action. I mean, it was on the edge of downtown. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. It's the business district, but okay. But it's downtown, right? Yeah, it's down the street from the, from the library. In downtown. Yeah, but not. In the heart of downtown. See, it, words matter, man. Words but matter. But in downtown. It's still downtown. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the outskirts of downtown. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's, so, it's right near the freeway. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Everything is right near the freeway here. Uh, but no, but no, I, 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 but Mark, Mark Ruffalo, you know, Mark Ruffalo did a good job, you know, in, you know, as much as he got, as much screen time as he got. Uh, Peter Berg, same thing. But this movie is and is carried by Jamie Foxx and um, 
Tom Oscar Cruise. nominated. That's, yeah, Jamie yeah, Foxx. This, this got him an Oscar nomination because yeah. this was a great role. This was a great role and played was perfectly before, before Ray or after Ray. Well, Ray, Ray, he won. Yeah, yeah, he won the Oscar for that, and I think that was after Ray. I mean, after after um, Collateral, I think. Because after on. after Ray, he did uh, the the sol- the soloist, right? With RDJ. I didn't. I never didn't, saw that movie. <laughs> I saw it. I didn't really like that. Yeah, I'll make. I'm gonna do a do, baby. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> no, Ray. That's Ray. <laughs> <it's Ray>. Yeah. <laughs> no, Ray was good. This was after Ali because he got he got the part because of Ali. Mm. That's why he got the part of Max because they saw because he had already worked with Michael Mann in Ali. In the prosthetics of that uh, the hairline. Holy crap! And Ali, it's back here. Boom. Yeah, that's what I'm wearing. Prosthetics. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? This is my real hairline. I gotta hide. <laughs> yeah, no, see, Ray, so Collateral came out before Ray, but Ray was the same year. So wait, how did, did he, he get twice? Yeah, yeah. How did he get nominated twice? I mean, it's possible. For supporting. I mean, oh, that's yeah, supporting Meryl actor. Does all the time. So supporting act. Well, no, he was actually the actor. Actor. No, he's a support. Yeah, he was support. A, really because isn't he the main character? Him and Tom Cruise are the main characters of this movie. Yeah, yeah so, but you can't so have you, two mains. Which is why uh, <laughs> you can have two mains. Um, <laughs> yeah, but but Tom Cruise is a bigger name at the time still. Yeah. I mean, still a bigger name. <laughs> he's, still, he's still a bigger name. He, that yeah. man makes money. Yeah, yeah. He was dominated banger for two awards. At the, he was, yeah, he, uh, Ray for best actor and best supporting actor for Collateral. Yeah. I wonder which one won. <laughs> mm. uh, you mean, you mean Colotero? Uh, <laughs> Google it. But this this movie went through so many actor changes. It also went through many directors cha- director changes, and I think it landed really well with Michael Mann because the way he films his movies and just because he did Heat, he kind of knew how to, he knows how to do crime movies. He he really does. It. He really did a good job with the crime movie. Um, I like because, it's all one night thing. The yeah, it, it doesn't take place night, overnight, boom. and it the moment the moment that triggers everything is when Vincent accidentally shoots the dude and he falls out the window onto Max's. Onto Max's cab, mm-hmm. right? But he does things to watch out for Max too. So that's why it's like he's not a, like that much of a bad bad guy. Yes, he's going out there and he's he's been hired to take out a bunch of people. He's taking out five. He has to take out five different people, but he he he's still the dude, kind of he killed the dudes that took the briefcase. Yeah, because they took the briefcase. But he also yeah, killed. Yeah. He also killed all the witnesses and the. He's trying to kill all the witnesses, the attorneys that he's being hired for. And you get. I forgot. You get Javier Bardem pretending to be Mexican. He's not. No, isn't he from Spain? Is because he. he oh, it's same thing. Yeah, he's, no, it's like he's one, no, no. That and see that makes sense. See, he's not one of those assholes who goes like, "Well, my family's from Spain, you know, so I got Spanish yeah. in my blood." It's like, no, fucker. We're all we're all brown. Okay. This is, you know, if you're from Spain, you have that weird accent. I didn't have But he does. Uh, he does. He does when he speaks. Because I've seen all the other movies where he speaks Spanish, and he yeah. has that 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 thing. You yeah, because he's es, es difícil sacar el acento. Yeah, he 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 goes in that. But in this one, he oh, doesn't. Oh, have oh, that. compa, cómo estás? <laughs> compa. <laughs> That's why like, he doesn't. He doesn't. Talk, he doesn't. Like he actually practiced on how to sound Mexican. <laughs> hey, what's that food? Pásame un taco. Ah, but it. Oh shit! Dame, dame unos tacos de buche. Stupid. <laughs> but, uh, you know, but, I think, but you know what? I think one of the best. Spain sucks. But you know, I you know I think some of the best kills, <laughs> some of the best kills that uh, Vincent does are. I, I mean, not the best, but like the ones that I think were the most notable is when he's when he's just he's having that whole conversation with the guy in the jazz club. And oh, that was awesome. That was the best. That was cool scene. Yeah. He's talking to him. He's like, "Tell me about that. Tell me about you." He played with Miles Davis, and then he starts bringing up the Culiacan and all these guys. Like, he's like all these what name Kulia. more? Yeah, he's talking Culiacan. Culiacan. Uh huh. He's bringing he's bringing all them up. He's bringing all that up, and you see the guy's face, his demeanor change. He's like, "Oh, you know, from Sinaloa or Culiacan, right?" And then and then he shoots him three times in the head. In front of Jamie Foxx, right, and 
then when Jamie Foxx runs away, like the the movie is filled with a bunch of great scenes. That's the thing, and it's and it's not it's not one of those movies where it it needs a lot of people. It's most of the time it's just Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx, right? Which I know they ended up building a friendship after a while, but I wonder after um he hooked he he started dating Katie Holmes, did that friendship oh. end, right? Did that friendship end because he doesn't he doesn't acknowledge her. Acknowledge me. Uh, he, he sees Siri. Is Siri Siri whatever his daughter's Siri. name? She changed her name, didn't she? No, she know. changed her last name. But yeah, I I I really do I really do like think like they they had really good chemistry together. Tom Cruise and Jamie Fox, they worked well off of each other. And Usually, I think uh-huh. he's, he has he has chemistry with a lot of with everybody pretty much. Tom Cruise except except for the uh, except for the crew of Valkyrie. That movie was so boring. Valkyrie was a boring movie. There's nothing anyone can tell me that that movie was great. The movie was boring. Those outfits Even, are pretty pretty dope, though. Oh, the the Nazi outfits. Yeah, they're Ooh. crisp, crisp. Like it, it was dead on. Like it was like holy crap. It was it was not it was no inglorious bastards, but you know, it looked two very modern. Way, like they made, two, way made different, so, two way different movies. Two way different movies. Yeah, but, but they made they made the outfits really like, modern. It, but yeah, you it, ha- you. Ha- it made him look six feet tall. Uh, so that's nothing to do with that. But you have that. Um, you have that. The, like the feeding off of each other. Like the way that they were talking to each other, playing. It just felt like it. It really like sucked you in. It really did like suck you in into this into the story. The way this. The way it was like meticulous. Shut up! I know you're gonna say something disgusting. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Uh, I can see it in your face. Hey, easy. Stop thinking about burritos. Stop thinking about food. Just relax. Calm down. Hey, stupid. <laughs> That's why I didn't even smile. I don't even know why you, you brought it up. Because he's doing it, and I can tell. Like he's gonna pass out. It's no, no oh, it's okay. It's okay. Taste the rainbow. What are you? Twelve? If you don't look at him. <laughs> I can. He's on the screen. Acknowledge <laughs> me. Uh, <laughs> no, but I, but really, re- overall, I think the the story is really well done the directing is great and the amount of action it has for such a small cast is another is another and tom cruise trained hard like on you know with these movies like with this movie specifically on how to like gun handle so much so that i hear that they still use the video that he did for training on this to train to train other people wow because they tom- use the same uh, the training for the driving for taxi drivers for Jamie Foxx. The yeah, Jamie, Jamie Foxx, they didn't have the same training like that, but he did they did go train and drive and do some flips and spinnies and stuff like that. But Tom Cruise did all the gun training and all the fight training. He he doesn't do something uh, like half assed. He goes full on for everything. All ass in, huh? Because even even in the even in the uh, accident that they had where the car flips in downtown, he's mm. in it. He's in the car. <laughs> he got a concussion. Because of that, because of that scene, he was concussed. Yeah, because and of the spray on came, gray hair. And with people cared. Yeah, he was in it. But who did they care about more? Tom Cruise. Yeah. Even Tom, Jamie Foxx uh, came out and said, like, yeah, like they, they went straight to him to make sure he was okay. Um, and then I was an afterthought. But like re- realistically, this like the whole thing overall, this movie, this movie is really good. And I I regret not watching this in theaters when it came out. Because this is this is a really this was a really good movie, and if you have not seen uh, Collateral, Michael Mann yeah. Collateral, it's a must it, watch. Yeah, it is one of those. It's it's, it's a it's rare no movie. That people don't talk enough about. No, it was it was made for very little money, like not too much money, sixty five, and it made over two hundred and twenty million. Right? Yeah. It it was a it was a big hit. Yeah, people liked it. People wanted to see it in theaters. It made money. Um, but it's one of those movies that people, yeah, like you said, people don't talk about as much. Mm-hmm. And it's, I think, one of Tom Cruise's best. Tom Cruise and Jimmy Fox, it's some of their best, or some of their best work. It's up there, right? Because the movie is just that good. They mm-hmm. elevated the whole movie. And, 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 it shows, and, Tom, and Tom Cruise has a lot of good movies too. Yeah, but but it shows how uh, Tom Cruise, when he gets out of that that whole little action thing that he does. He's still good, even if he's not doing that. Yeah, he's, a, he's, he's a, he is a good actor. He I, should he should play more villains. Yeah, well, he's gonna have to start because he's almost three hundred. But no, but he, yeah, he should he should he should come figure out another movie where he can play a villain 
and or another comedy. Or another comedy. comedy. He can. He can do comedy too. He can do comedy too. That's the thing. It, when he when I've he does something, he does it right. He he's he's a student of movies. That's what it is. Isn't that yeah. something he says? Like he watches at least a one movie a day or something. Yeah, yeah. something yeah. like that. And he studies movies, so that's why a lot of his movies, even the bad ones, you know, except for Valkyrie, even the bad ones are good, right? Even the bad ones are good. The Mummy. Another, we, I, the, I, I can't. I can't that I can't, bad. I know that's what I keep saying. People say that that's a really bad, really bad movie. It's an, it's an, oh, it's one of the okay Tom Cruise movies, but it's still enjoyable. So, he, so things that he does are, are still good. He, he makes good movies, and the movies that he picks, the movies that he picks are great. The people that are in it, like, like we just talked about Edge of Tomorrow, right? We just talked about that and how good that movie is, and how good. Not only he's in it, but like I think that makes other people step up their game in the movie, and it makes that movie even better. Look what happened with Jamie Foxx; he gets nominated for best supporting actor. Right? Yeah, thanks, Tom Cruise. So he he elevates people. He like the movies he makes are elevating. But on that note, <laughs> I would re- I would hundred hundred percent recommend watching. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, Collateral. Watch Collateral, Michael Mann uh, on Apple TV. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let Ozzy know that uh, he interrupts and makes weird, perverted jokes. And then, note this has been Vinny. This is the Colotero. I know. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>